Children in Tigray State sing Ashenda, a local tradition to herald the coming of the new year and the culmination of the summer season. In their songs, the children wish the summer season to pass and to take hardship and disease away, and the spring, the season to follow, to come with health and prosperity. However, health and prosperity cannot be achieved with children's songs alone. It requires sustainable effort from the government and the public at large. While the children wish health for the populace, farmers seem to be pretty busy on their lands from dawn to dusk to win over life. <laughs> Meanwhile, the government is committed to maintain the success of Community-Based Health Insurance, or CBHI, with a view to keep the public healthy. The pilot initiative implementation of CBHI started in the summer of 2011 in 13 districts in the states of Aromia, Southern People, Amhara and Tigray to provide health services for those who do not have a regular income. Ato Lelseged Ogeza, who served long for the betterment of health financing reform in Ethiopia, says the pilot initiative implementation of CBHI did not come out of the blue. The first thing we did after the Ministry of Health decided on the launching of CBHI was looking into the experience of other countries. Accordingly, we have seen the trend in Rwanda, Ghana, Senegal and Mexico. Following the visit, we adapted an appropriate way of implementing CBHI in Ethiopia. Then the proposal was tabled for the Ministry of Health and the strategy for the implementation of the scheme was prepared. CBHI, which started in 13 districts at a pilot level, has now been implemented in 119 districts across the country. With the intent to fully implement CBHI in the second Growth and Transformation Plan, the government has finalised a scaling-up strategy to make the scheme accessible in all states and districts. To make the scaling-up process successful, achievements and challenges of the pilot initiative phase have been reviewed by a neutral body. Dr Getnet Alamo, the co-applicant of the research project, mentions that samples were taken before and after the implementation of CBHI. The project started in 2011, with a baseline survey taken before its implementation in 12 pilot and 4 control districts. We surveyed the same households in 2012 after its implementation. In 2013, we have asked the same subjects for the third time. We did that to see the change from time to time. To assess the outcome of the research, we are now heading to Abraha Wo Atzbaha locality in Kilete Aolalo district of Tigray state. Ato Mezgebe Burhe was out to his farm early. We met him on his way back home at lunch to visit his nursing wife. It has been three years now since Ato Mezgebe joined CBHI. <laughs> We pay 137 per membership fee and get the service all year long. Many people have benefited from it. At the beginning, there were people who complained of paying 137 per at a time. Nonetheless, when they see its benefit, they change their mind. What we pay for a year is the amount of money we could have paid for a single treatment. Now we have seen tangible change in our life with this smaller payment. His wife, Wazira Alamwit Gebre Silasi, witnesses how important CBHI is for her and fellow ladies. We used to spend much money to keep our health. The less fortunate suffer a lot when they get sick. Now we pay little money and get health service at our disposal. If someone from here gets seriously sick, he will also be referred to Mekele. Sister Tsige Gurmai, Abraha Wo Atzbaha Health Station head, says apart from providing affordable health service to people, 
CBHI has brought big changes to the health station. Once residents become members, they can go to a health facility any time they feel sick. They get the treatment without any bureaucracy. Through CBHI, we provide patient-centred service and boost our financial strength. Wazirat Burti Gebri Medin is Kilete Aulalo District Health Office Head. She articulates the benefit of CBHI to the district. In the old days, people did not visit a health facility when they got sick in fear of the payment. Now that has been solved. Meanwhile, health facilities are maximising their income through membership fee. Atto Abdul Jalil Rashad, acting Deputy Director General of the Ethiopian Health Insurance Agency, speaks that Ethiopia is rightly positioned to implement CBHI. The very important thing is to facilitate an enabling condition to implement CBHI in Ethiopia. That is why the agency has been established and branch bureau set up at regional level. Staffs are hired and preconditions to implement CBHI fulfilled. I have the confidence that CBHI can practically be implemented in Ethiopia. Dr. Getnet explains the research findings obtained by Addis Ababa University and its partners regarding the implementation of CBHI. Members of CBHI instantly go to a health facility when they get sick. Health sickness behavior is growing thanks to health insurance. Earlier, people used to sell cattle to cover medical costs when they get seriously ill. CBHI has changed that scenario as people do not have to sell their property once they are members of the initiative. Damboya district in the southern Ethiopia state has been one of the pilot areas where CBHI began. Atto Daniel Agena is preparing firewood with his brother, Mesfin Agena, while his wife is cooking. Atto Daniel does not hesitate to witness the benefit he gets from CBHI. I've got many benefits. My entire family is embraced under CBHI with a small annual payment. Had it not been for this scheme, we would have spent much money for health facilities and pharmacies. However, the negative comment circulating in his area about CBHI has forced Atto Daniel to question his membership. On top of that, I advise health experts to equally treat CBHI members like the ones that get treatment on pay basis. Atto Jonas Anode, whom we met at Demboya Health Station, told us the same thing as Atto Daniel did. After examination, CBHI members go out to buy medicine, which costs them additional money. Those who cannot pay for medicine die at their home. The insurance has to be well equipped and give holistic services at health facility. Ato Alemobu teacher frequents Demboya Health Station to get his children treated, but he is not a member of CBHI. <laughs> I didn't become CBHI member because at the beginning there were problems. Though the scheme is a good beginning, I thought it will not be sustainable. I delayed the membership to verify that. We evaluate this point. They complain that health facilities prioritize the treatment of those who instantly pay and delay CBHI members. There are forms to be filled on the card to treat CBHI members, but the non-members proceed to medication right away. Shortage of medicine is due to the failure of paying membership fee on time. If members of CBHI are denied swift treatment, that has to be rectified. It is substantial to inform health experts about health insurance, its use for the community and the country as well. We are set to raise the awareness of the service providers. The problem is not only of shortage of medicine, but some institutions also send out patients for further treatment at private health facilities. That has practically been proved. A health facility that implements CBHI is expected to be full-fledged 
to diagnose and give medicine to patients. The failure in doing so can be attached to lack of preparedness of health institutions. There are some districts that stop the service and others that are almost collapsing as a result of lack of political commitment and ownership of the local government. It is difficult to scale up the scheme with such problems at hand. The financial collection methodology itself is not up to date and organizational until recently. However, the outcome of our study reveals that CBHI can be scaled up. With the aforementioned problems, the government is set to scale up CBHI throughout the country. We are now in Adear district of the state of Oromia, where CBHI is being implemented. Ato Urgesa Arasa and Waziro Yeshi Makonen have eight children from their 26 years of married life. They speak of the benefit of the introduction of CBHI. One of my sons was sick. I took him to the nearby health center and he recovered, thanks to CBHI. The same thing goes with my wife. We thank the government for protecting our health at grassroots level and we wanted to keep doing the same. This is Dawa Chaffa district in the state of Amhara. Ato Balacho Aileo used to be a strong farmer in Tuche locality. Unexpectedly, he had to have his leg amputated because of diabetes. He speaks of the adversity he might have encountered had there not been CBHI. I suddenly got diabetes. The nearby health station has been following me up. Afterwards, I was referred to Dase Hospital. I stayed there for 45 days. There was fluctuation in my blood volume. After 45 days of examination, I underwent an operation, which would have cost me nearly 7,000 birr if I paid it on my own. The full implementation of CBHI is one of the main agendas incorporated in the new health sector transformation plan. We are working for 80% achievement. The scaling up strategy is ready for action. The study identifies what to emphasize while implementing CBHI according to the government's plan. We don't expect a miracle from the scaling up strategy. We rather highlight issues that should be handled carefully. The first one is financial sustainability. There are some districts struggling not to fall due to the imbalance between the money they collect and spend. The federal government used to provide a 25% subsidy, which now has dropped to a maximum of 10%. Hence, districts that once received a 25% subsidy are now nearly collapsing. Additionally, the structural organization of CBHI has to exceed district level. Research findings imply reconsidering the amount of membership fee and embracing private health facilities in the scheme. Before entering to the scaling up phase, there are points to think over. The states are working on establishing institutions for the scaling up scheme. I think it is better to enter the scaling up action once the strategy is endorsed because it has resource implication and the issue of membership. There needs to be clear thing on how to pay health facilities for the service they provide. The big task on hand now is to approve the scaling up strategy. In a nutshell, the pilot implementation of CBHI in Ethiopia has brought big changes in the health sector. It particularly plays a major role in the government's effort in making health services accessible for all. So watch, uh, the thing is to help people pay according to their capacity and get proper treatment. Whatever the payment is, the scheme is to deliver proper treatment for patients and ensure equity.